Hello you guys, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another vlog. This is a little fun bonus vlog. So I went to bed really late really late last night because Leif and I have been addicted to the Great British Baking Show. If you haven't watched it, it's very wholesome, very easy thing to watch and it has totally inspired me to bake a little bit more. So I've always said I'm better at baking than I am at cooking. What I'm going off of is the fact that I can make good chocolate chip cookies, that's about it. When I'm watching this show especially, I'm like, baking's actually hard, like it's a science, but it seems like something that I would like to get more into and master a little bit more. I decided that today I'm gonna try and make a cake from the Half-Baked Harvest cookbook. I'll show you guys it in a second, the one that I'm gonna make. But I was like, I should take you guys with me along on this journey because I'm always talking about cooking and baking and how I'm not that good, but I want to get better. And I took you guys through when I made or attempted to make cinnamon rolls during like Christmas time. And I was so upset because they didn't turn out. I like overbaked them and I was so mad because it took me hours to make them. So I was like, if I'm going to make a cake, I should document it and take you guys along on the journey with me. So we're going to be making a cake today. I'm excited get ready. But I will say I've been annoyed at myself for going to bed late because I've been waking up later and I feel like it's been throwing off my days and my schedule. I'm trying to get on a better sleep schedule. Something that I did recently, I actually mentioned this in our latest podcast episode, but I turned on downtime for my phone, which is in settings. I talked about it actually on my Instagram story and someone was asking me about it. So you just go to settings and then you go to screen time on your iPhone. Excuse me. I set my downtime to 9.30 p.m. to 8 a.m. My phone, like my apps are like locked, so I can't get on them. I can get on them if I really want to. I can like ignore the lock thing. But basically like when you click on Instagram, it's like your limit has already been reached for today or whatever. So it just like kind of locks all your apps. And I've really liked it so far. I actually want to do it maybe until like 9 a.m. because I feel like lately I've been waking up later. So by 8 a.m. it's like by the time I wake up, my phone's already unlocked and I'm like, wait, that defeats the purpose because I want it to be locked for like the first hour that I'm awake. I thought those things were literally my hair. I was like, why is my hair so staticky? But it was just the, just the couch. So anyway, if you're trying to like get on your phone less like I am, that's something you can do. And maybe I'm like the last person on earth to find out about this, I don't know. I set app limits. I set an hour for Instagram and an hour for TikTok, literally by 11 a.m. The other day I had exceeded them both it was like you've reached your limit I was like it's only 11 so I might have to allow myself to do like two hours or something because like obviously social media is my job so I'm like maybe that was like unrealistic for me to only be on there for an hour a day on each but especially if I'm like making TikToks you know but every day is different anyway I'll figure out something that works for me but I just wanted to update you guys on that my cute pink sweatshirt is from white fox Boutique. It says Essentials Club right here. It's really like slouchy, very comfortable and soft. And my favorite color, of course. And I'm also wearing uh, pink biker shorts from them. Literally so hard to show right here, but they're really cute too. They are sponsoring today's video, which I'm very grateful for. And I got some really, really cute pieces. So I actually just tried them on. I'm gonna insert the clips here and I'm gonna show you guys what I got because I'm like very impressed especially because they're really good prices. It's like really, really cute stuff and stuff that I'm gonna be, I feel like living in this summer. I wanna first show you guys, I have all this stuff right here. So the first thing is this bikini, which is really, really cute. I've, it's like extremely flattering. So it's this cheetah print. Here's the bottom and here's the top. I also have like no boobs. So I feel like tops like this, I've always like strayed away from cause I'm like, no but I think it looks like really cute. And this style is very popular right now, the kind of more string bikini vibe. But this one covers me enough to where I don't feel like completely, I don't know, exposed, but it's really, really flattering, really cute. And I put it on and Leif's like, I know that makes you want to go have beach day. And I was like, no, it really does make me want to go to the beach. I love that. And then I'm obsessed with these shorts. That takes a lot for me to say. Where the heck are they though? Okay, found them. <laughs> I took them off over there. So these shorts, I love. They're so flattering, so cute, perfect length. I love the light wash and they're just like really, really good. Like I think these are gonna be some of my favorite shorts for the spring and the summer. Super cute for the beach or the pool to wear over your swimsuit or just with a cute tank or whatever top you wanna wear. And I'm picky about shorts because I feel like sometimes they'll fit my waist but then on my butt it'll be like too tight or 
it won't cover my butt enough to where I just like feel exposed again. So I really, really like these. I got a lot of like matching little sets, kind of like what I'm wearing right now, but more for like warmer weather. So I got this tank that goes with the shorts that I'm wearing right now, the biker shorts. And it's a really cute set. I'm wearing this because it's like a little bit chilly in my house right now. Otherwise, I would totally just be wearing the tank because it's super cute, especially since it's going into warmer weather. This, I love. It's the loungiest, softest, like all of these are, but it's super soft and loungy. This gray t-shirt. I'm just a hot mess. Everything's like inside out. And these biker shorts. They're really comfy material. You can also add things to this, like add a bunch of gold jewelry. I obviously always have my gold hoops on to make this like a little bit more elevated or you can just wear it around the house. I love matching sets like this because it's essentially pajamas, but you feel like you have your life put together. So when I'm wearing something like this, like I'm wearing today and I'm just doing emails and like working from home, I'm like, I feel like I'm put together, you know, I don't feel like super sloppy or like I'm literally in my pajamas because it's like matching and cohesive and super comfy and cute. So I'm like a huge fan of um, comfy sets and I feel like this, what I'm showing you right now is essentially the summer version of like my winter matching sweat sets. This one I also love, love, love the nude color. It's similar to the one I'm wearing right here with the same logo, but it's just like this tan nude oversized t-shirt this is the small medium i got small mediums in all the um t-shirts and then these cutie biker shorts again this little logo i'm like kim kardashian and my neutrals this is another matching set it's a blue oversized t-shirt with a little pink white fox you know we got the what we said vibes going strong super comfy these are all very similar obviously but it's kind of nice to have a bunch of different colors so I can just wear them all the time. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this when I was showing you the swimsuit. This is a super cute sarong. Is that how you pronounce that word? I'm pretty sure it is. And this can go over any swimsuit that you want. Um, I think they're super cute with bikinis. Like you could literally pair this with anything. I even think it's actually cute with the cheetah one because it's like just pattern mixing. It's kind of nice because it gives you a little bit more coverage. In California, I love that I can wear hoodies and sweatshirts still in the summertime because at night it gets a little cooler, especially like near the beach. So I thought this hoodie was super cute. It's just a black hoodie that says White Fox. It says Made in Heaven and has this really cute little like angel heart graphic. And I got the matching biker shorts. Hee <laughs> hee, surprise, surprise. If you guys see me in a matching biker shorts and t-shirt or sweatshirt outfit every day, don't judge me. With the cute little same emblem on it. And then this little set I thought was something just like unique. It's a little bit different than what I normally wear because I'm always wearing just like comfy clothes. But I thought this was super cute. So it's this really fun little top has like kind of these little puff sleeves you can wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder has these little roses on it i thought the colors were really really cute and then it ties in the back in the video of me trying it on i needed leif he's gone right now but i needed him to like button it in the back for me because i could not reach so I was just like holding it awkwardly. So sorry about that, but it would be really cute when it was perfectly buttoned up. And then obviously the matching skirt. And I love that it's like ruched on the sides. It just makes it so, so flattering. That's my White Fox haul. I have to sneeze. I just think their stuff is really cute, very affordable. If you're looking for some new summer or spring pieces, definitely check it out. Here's my discount code if you guys want money off of any of that stuff. If you want to shop this specific stuff that I got, it will be linked in the description for you. And yeah, use my code for some money off White Fox. They have some really cute stuff right now. Literally, after every trying all of those on, every single one, I was like, I want to do a TikTok in this outfit because it's just cute and it would be fun to do like a little dance in it or something. So. Anyway, go check it out if you're interested. Let's get on into our cake baking segment of today's video, aka probably the rest of the video, because I have a feeling this could take me a very long time. Welcome to my baking show. This might be a little bit too tall. No, it'll be fine. Okay, so first let me show you what recipe I'm doing for the cake. So it is a naked strawberry cake is what it's called. It looks really cute. Where is it? Oh, strawberry naked cake. I just thought it looked so delicious. And it's a layer cake. Ooh. Should I be having two different baking sheets? Second and third layers of the cake. Oh, no, no, no. I think you just cut it. Okay. You know what I need to make sure that I have before I start this journey, though, that I was just thinking about is like a frosting thing. Because if I don't, I feel like that's going to be really annoying. So let me see. Yay. Luckily, I do. I have this little thing to like frost the cake evenly. By the way, I'll scoot you guys back so you can see me actually making the cake. Don't worry. Guys, I'm starting to feel overwhelmed. 
<laughs> this is supposed to be a fun thing and I'm like making it into a huge production. Like I'm just looking at all this, the steps and the ingredients and everything. It's like not even that complicated of a cake, honestly. It's just I don't really bake anything. I haven't baked anything in a long time. I'm just looking at this like very overwhelmed. I want to do it. I'm excited to do it. We're on this journey together. <sighs> I'm a baking queen, I'm a baking queen. I wish you guys could like hang out with me in my kitchen. Like I wish you could just be here right now baking with me. How fun would that be? Like you guys are here with me, but you're also not because you're not here. JC 2021. You're also here because you're not, but you're not here. Welcome to my kitchen. I probably have to scream now. It's messy, messy, messy. Grease. A 13 by 18 inch rimmed baking sheet and line it with parchment paper. Okay, let's do that first. Wait, what? 13 by 18? What's happening? I swear I have a 13 by 18. I like measured beforehand. It says it's 14 by 10. What? I know that your iPhone has a measuring app on it. I literally use it all the time. Uh, like I'm sure they're not lying. What? Hi. I changed. Long story. I don't want to get into it, but Leif said he loves this outfit the most. We secured the pan. I just got it from the grocery store, so we're ready to rumble, everyone. Let's get into it. Ow. Cool. Um, that's literally not okay. It's got an extremely deep paper cut. Why? Mm. From that. It's not bleeding. It is bleeding. No, it's not. Starting to. Freak! I don't even have a, do we even have band-aids? I don't know. Okay, moving on. Sheesh. You guys want to see my cut? See that? It looks shorter than it is. It goes from here to there. Like, why? Why, why, why? Mix together the canola oil, yogurt, eggs, Okay, here is the cake baked and I had it in the oven for 25 minutes and now I just have to let it cool for an hour and then I can put the frosting on. Welcome to the Great British Baking Show. On your marks, set, set. bake. Bake. I should have said that at the beginning. Aprons are wonderful. I'm the baker. I'm the baker. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, why? I don't like that you're taking over. Mm, but it's pretty good. Ooh. Seems a little soft, a little doughy maybe. No, it's not. How do you know? I'm a baker. I'm nervous because our daughter is going to have nice buns. Why? Because I do? No, because you're a baker. Cool. Has some pretty good aeration in there. That's good. It's a bit stodgy.
falling over. Look at this beautiful creation. I think I could have done more frosting and the, the layers are a little bit uneven. But, oh yeah. <laughs> Look how much smaller. It's like tilting. But it's so cute. It's like imperfect and cute. Here she is in better light. Get in close. Oh yeah. I don't really know how to cut a piece of this cake. It's so tall. It's huge. I know. It's massive. Wow, beautiful. Here's the moment of truth. It's really good. Nice. Moist cake, not dry. Frosting is amazing. Could have used more strawberries. That's so good. Success. Woo! I wanted to go on a run tonight. Really? Is that a bad idea after eating this cake? You know, wait a little bit. Is your uh, knee hurting too bad? What you guys don't see right now is Lady up on her legs like this. Lady's actually very good about not eating things that she did. she's not supposed to eat. She's like weirdly anxious about basically everything. So even if I was to put this cake up to her mouth, I don't even think she would eat it. Do you think she would? She'd probably lick it once. Right. Lady. She likes it. All right, well, that concludes the Great British Baking Show. Make sure you subscribe down below. Thanks for watching me bake a cake. I'm so happy it went well. I am so happy. You guys have no idea. This took so long, by the way. But thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. If you want to make sure you're caught up on my videos, then you'll be notified when a new video comes out. If you want to put on post notifications, do that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love ya, and I'll see you next time. Bye.